Gamer. Hello everyone and welcome to video number seven. In this video we're going to add score and we're going to add coins that the player can collect. First of all though, I notice how my code is getting a little jumbled in here. So what I can do is right click and choose clean up blocks. And then the blocks will be stacked on top of one another so it's a little bit easier to keep them organized that way. So now what I want to do is add a score variable. So I can click on the variables tab if you're not there yet, make a variable, and we'll type in score. So I want you to notice every time you make a new variable, the boxes over here are checked. And what these boxes do is show that variable on your screen. So if I click on gravity, notice how it disappears. So if you want the variable, then make sure that box is checked. If you don't, make sure it is unchecked. And then as far as these boxes go on the screen, you can just click and drag it wherever you would like. So now we can see our score will be displayed at the top left of the screen. So next, what I want to do is add some coins. And when the player collects the coins, the score goes up. So I have to add a new sprite. So I'll go to my sprite window and the bottom right and I will choose paint. And now I'm gonna use these circle tools to go ahead and make a coin. So I want the fill to be, let's go a little bit bright yellow, there we go. I want the circle chosen, and now I will click and drag, and if I hold the shift key, it will make a perfectly round circle. So we'll go about there, drag it to the center, and now I want one more circle, but I want it to be more orangish. That's about what I'm looking for. And now I can once again click and drag, hold shift to make a perfect circle. And I want that in the center as well. And now it looks like we have a coin in our game. So I can drag this coin. Let's put it right there in the center. It's definitely too big compared to the player. So I'm going to change the size to about, let's say, 30. And 30, yeah, that looks about right. So we'll keep it at 30, and I, I'll start it in the center of the screen. So now what we wanna do is add some code to this coin, so when the player touches the coin, the coin disappears and the score goes up. I'm gonna set it to 100 in this game. So I'll click on the coin. Ooh, first things first, I did not name this coin yet. So I'll go up here, change it from sprite one, to coin. And that's definitely going to make it easier when I start coding. So now I'll click on that coin, go to the top left to code. And the first thing I want to do, just like we did for the player, is set the starting position for the coin. So how I can do that is go to events, when the green flag is clicked, and now I will go to motion, and I will set it as go to x negative 20, y negative 123. And if I look over here in my sprite window, that's exactly where the coin is right now. So if I was to drag it and press the green flag, it would go right back to that position. So next what we wanna do is make it so when the player touches the coin, the coin disappears and 100 points is added to the score. So what we'll need first is under events, when the green flag is clicked, and then we want under control, a forever loop, so this happens all the time, and then also an if then within that forever loop. And we want it to say, if the player touches the coin, then add 100 points to the score and hide the coin. So first we want if touching the player, so we'll go to sensing, and we'll use that first one, touching mouse pointer, but we'll change it from mouse pointer to player. So if touching the player, then add 100 points to the score. So our score is under variables, and we want to change the score. So change, not gravity, but change score by 100. And then we'll also want to hide that coin. So we can go under looks. And simply enough, we can choose hide. So now when the player touches the coin, the score will go up by 100 and the coin will hide. So let's make sure that works. So move our player, touch the coin, 
And in fact, the coin did disappear and the score did reset to 100. But notice now when I reset the game, the coin is gone. That's because it is still hiding from before. So what we want to do is when the green flag is clicked at the beginning of the game, we want to make sure that we first show that coin. Now if I click the green, there's my coin again. I can drag and get it. And notice now my score is at 200. So another thing that didn't happen was the score did not reset to zero when we hit the green flag. So that's what we want to do is every time the game starts, start the score at zero. So I can do that by going to variables. And I want to set, so I'll use that first block, set the score to zero. Now notice it starts at 200. When I hit the green flag, the coin is back and the score does in fact go to zero. Now I can collect that coin and go to the next level. If I reset, the score does reset to zero and I do have that one coin. So now say I want to make multiple coins. What I can do is simply right click and duplicate that coin. Now notice that second coin is in the game. The only problem is when I hit the reset, it's going to look like I only have one coin because this second coin has the same exact code as the first coin. But I can always drag it and sure enough, there is that second coin. So what I'm going to have to do is change the position of this second coin. And let's say I wanted to set it to right there. Remember that position, the X and Y is right down here in the sprite window. So I can change the X to 78 and I can change the Y to still negative 123. So now when I reset, I have two coins. My player can go collect plus 100, collect plus 100, and I can go on to the next level. All right, I got one more thing for you. Let's say I want to create one more coin. So I'll go ahead and duplicate the second coin, but I only want this third coin to show up on the second level. So we're going to have to adjust some of our code. So let's start here. When the green flag is clicked, set the score to zero, which that same code is technically in coin one and two, but it's okay, it won't hurt anything. And when it's clicked, we actually want to hide that coin. But before I do that, I want to try my best to set the position for when it gets to the second level. So I'm going to come over here, drag that coin about somewhere here in the middle, because I know I have my lava in the middle, and I'm going to set this coin to 17, negative 53. So the X is 17, the Y is negative 53. And I'm going to drag this code down because I'm going to use this a little bit later. So now when the green flag is clicked, we want to set the score to zero. And instead of showing it, we actually want to hide it because this is going to be in level one. So I can duplicate that hide. And now when I click the flag, that coin, as you can see, is going to disappear. So we don't see coin three anymore. But we want it to show up when we get to level two. So how I can do that is go to events and choose when the backdrop switches. And we want when the backdrop switches to level two, then we want the coin to go to that position and we wanna show that coin. So I'll go to looks, choose show. So now when we press play, we should be okay and we should see that coin on level two. So I'll click the green flag, move my player, 100, 200. Ah, there is the coin, in fact, exactly where we want it. I'll jump, collect it, and we do, in fact, have 300 coins. So now we have coins and a scoreboard. And that wraps up this video. I'll see you in the next one.